Hey guys, you're watching you one and only, my name is AJ and we're back with Useful Redstone and uh, this time it's how to enchantment room, adjustable enchantment room, no less. And uh, really, really cool design, really, really simple design. Uh, I'm not the original creator of this design, I will link the original uh, creator in the description below. Um, not in the description, yeah, in the description, that's the one. And uh, really, really cool design, I've pretty it up a little bit more than he did. Um, but his actual redstone is so simple that I was just like, this has to be on this series. So uh, basically, we've got a full enchantment room here uh, that we can enchant all the way up to level 30. But what we can do is we can adjust these so we can lift the top layer up. And we can lift the top layer up there. And we can bring the bottom layer down as well and the bottom layer down. Uh, or we can have just that whole side. Or we can have just... A side and a half it's so adjustable and uh, you can get everything all the way down to having oops all the way down to having no um, levels at all apart from these two at the back here which will give you like up to level five or six or whatever it is with only two bookshelves I think it's level five um, really really cool really really simple design hello me and mine I shall send you a message back in a minute um, so yeah, we've got some redstone torches on display here, which I like. I like how these torches are on display. Uh, it shows you which ones are on and which ones are off. So we're going to get on and build it. Okay, so now we've got a flat bit of ground. The first thing we're going to do is put down um, any block, really. I'm just using wood because it blended in with the uh, bookshelves. So I've got some normal wood here. And you're going to put four levers um, on each block. One lever on each block. Uh, with some redstone torches on top like so. Uh, and then on top of that, you're going to put your some blocks on top of here. Oops, I've got a sheep behind me or something. Get out of the way, cow. You're ruining it. So uh, then you're going to put a redstone torch on the inside blocks, if you like, with a, a repeater facing out of a pleater. A repeater facing out. Facing. Wow, I'm messing up. I'm going to carry on and pretend it never happened. It never happened, guys, so ignore it. Uh, and what you're going to do is where your uh, enchantment table is going to go. Hello, Craft Fusion. Um... A little trick that I do is actually I put some glowstone underneath the enchantment table. Uh, uh, the light still shines through the enchantment table, but then you don't need any light in here. No visible light it shines through from underneath the bookcase. Uh, what you're going to do then is get some sticky pistons. Now this is the only downside to this design uh, is that you're going to need a lot of sticky pistons. So hopefully on your survival world you have collected up some slime balls from all your caving. Uh, you might even have a slime farm somewhere. Um, so you can grab a load of sticky pistons really, really quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to dig two down and start putting your sticky pistons in. Uh, what you want to do is you want to leave a one block gap like you normally would with um, your enchantment table around. Leave the back one normal though. And then do the other side as well. So uh, this is what we've got here. And these now get activated by these levers once we've got the redstone in, obviously. Um... So that's what we're going to do next, in fact. That might be the simplest. We'll do the bottom half first, and then we'll do the top half. So uh, we can now knock out a ring around these sticky pistons, like so. And uh, nice and simple, just lead your redstone around, and then around this side. Oh, I missed the spot. There we go. Like so. So now we can activate the bottom half with this lever here, and this lever as well. This lever will do both the bottom and the top uh, no in fact this one will do the bottom and the top and this one will do just the bottom uh, so let's put these bookshelves down and uh, these two bookshelves are permanently up so you can just leave them like that so uh, now what you're gonna do is get your sticky pistons again and uh, know where they're gonna close up so the bookshelf is usually gonna be on this level which means the other bookshelf is gonna be on this level which means your piston at extended will come down to here. So you will need, let me just get it, your pistons on this level here uh, in line with the repeater here. So uh, that's the thing with working with sticky pistons is you need to realize where the blocks are going to be once you once they extend. So uh, we can now bring it around, boop, like that. And the other side, you don't know, I need one in the middle there. Uh, I just had to put it there so we could build it. Like so. So uh, let's stick our bookshelves down and get them out of the way. Boop, 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 boop. 
Now this is more bookshelves than you need. Uh, I do know that I know you don't need as many bookshelves as this anymore, but it's still nice to have a full square. I think it's the best way uh, it looks. Okay, guys, sorry, I just had to pull away for a moment there, but we're back. Uh, I just put the bookshelves down. I think you saw that. I hope you guys saw that. So uh, yeah, we've got the bookshelves down here in a ring, and uh, all you're going to want to do now is put a ring of blocks on the um, level of the piston, pistons, like so. Just like that, uh, and one there, uh, and then lead your redstone along the top. And would you believe it? That is all it is. That is as simple as that. So uh, now we can retract and pull these pistons. Doop. There's the full side, and up, and then there's just the bottom half, and the full, and just the bottom half. So uh, this is what it looks like naked. And then from here you can then pretty fire up how I did. Um, We'll do a little bit of prettifying. I'll make it how I did in case you want to do it the same as me. Uh, like so. This is the way I done it. I like I like my logs and my wood. Um, they give a really nice rustic look effect. Um, I don't know. It's just a look that I really like. So. Do -do 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 along here. Up. And then the final side. We won't bother with the top this time. We'll just do the sides. Like that. Uh, for these, you're going to need a block along there to hide those repeaters. A block there to cover that. You can do the floor. Uh, this is why I use normal oak, because they blend in with the bookshelves from the top, so they don't look different. It doesn't look all weird. Uh, then you'll need your roof to hide up these pistons. Doop, 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 doop. And boop. And uh, then you're going to need these ones here. Because when you've got the pistons drawn up, the bookshelves drawn up, you can't see behind it. But when you've got them drawn down, you'll be able to see the redstone. And we don't want that. We don't like seeing too much visible redstone at all. Uh, it's not my style. So you can then fill all these in. Oops. Like so. And then you need a block there and a block there. A final block here. Oh no, that's not even the roof. This is the roof. There we go. There's the roof. So, uh, and this is what it looks like. Finished. So, we can then close half of it up and it still looks good. We've still got the uh, walls to cover everything up. And then we can bring the top ones down as well. So, um, the redstone torches on display here look really nice. It lets you know which ones are on and which ones are off. And uh, then you can simply just cover these up like normal. You could even just do it like this if you want to save time. I don't think that looks too bad at all. Look. And that one. And that one. So uh, there we have it. We can stick some torches down now. Inside, this is what I was talking about with the no lighting. It's lit up and you can't see any visible light. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. So we'll put some torches along here to finish it up. Yeah, yeah, let's have two. We'll have two on these sides. And like that. Just as it's getting tonight, we're going to bring an end to the episode here if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like button you're really giving me a lot of uh, help with this series and you guys are really enjoying it i hope you guys are enjoying it anyway uh, you seem to be uh so yeah if you haven't already please subscribe hit that like button and build it and um tell me what you think of it tell me if you like it or not so we shall see you guys in the next episode and that's about it